Welcome back to my Mad 19 Ultimate Rebuild. We are the New York Jets this episode. We are in season 2023. Last season we went 5 and 11, but let's check out our roster. Our starting quarterback is Sam Darnold. He's an 82 overall with negative one confidence. Normal development, 27 years old. He'll probably be here the rest of the way. Our starting running back, let's see if he's a rookie. He's in his third year. He's an 85 overall, which is great. Normal development, what are his ratings? He has 88 break tackle, 91 speed, 90 acceleration, 90 agility. Not bad. Our starting receiver, number one, is Robbie Anderson, who is A2 overall. He's 31 years old, so we might have to try to phase him out either after this season or maybe before this season. We try to trade him away. We'll see. Who is our number two guy? Treadwell. How old is he? He's 29 years old. Normal development, 77 overall. What else do we have at receiver? Gallery, who is 27 years old. Normal development, 77 overall. What does his ratings look like? 90 speed, 93 acceleration, 83 catching, 84 catching traffic. Not bad. Is that Jalen Ramsey? I know it's obviously not. Jacoby Ramsey, 25 years old, 75 overall, normal development. Not bad, not bad. Our starting tight end is Weaver. George Weaver, who's 25 years old. He's in his third year as a 74 overall, normal development. What does his ratings look like? Uh, 77 speed, negative. Ooh, wow. He has a negative confidence a lot of places. 75 catching, 62 run block, 66 awareness. Uh, what do we have for an offensive line? We have Stevenson, who is a B. He has 83 overall, quick development, 24 years old. So he's going to get a, co a new contract in, what, our third year, I believe? So he's going to be here to stay the rest of the way, hopefully. Our starting left guard is Cleland, I believe is how you would say that. 27 years old, normal development, 76 overall. Not bad, not bad. Over Hoser, I think. 24 years old, a 72 overall, normal development. What do his ratings look like? 82 strength, 76 run block. 81 pass block, not that bad. 71 run block power. Really not that bad, even though he technically is a 73 overall, but we will have to get a little bit better at the offensive line. Our rookie, apparently, is Alan Odom. Oh, yeah, that is Odom. 24 years old, normal development, 73 overall. What does his ratings look like? 81 strength, 73 run block, 83 pass block. That's pretty good. 70 run block power. And then our starting right tackle is Larson. Luke and La Lucas Larson, 25 years old, quick development, which is good. Uh, what does his ratings look like? 83 strength, 70 run block, 78 pass block. But that could get a lot better. But let's go check out the defense. Our defense looks pretty good. It says it's a 91 overall, which is great news. Our starting number one corner is Kevin King, who is an 84 overall, normal development, 29 years old. What does his contract look like, though? Because we could put him on the trade block, try to get somebody for him. He has one year left, so we're definitely going to do that. We'll put him on the trade block, see if we can get some draft picks. We'll see how that goes. Let's go check out our defensive line. Our starting right end is Brian. Don't know much about him. He's 28 years old, quick development. That's not that bad. Rating, 91 power move, 70 finesse, 73 speed, 88 acceleration. It would be better to get a little bit younger at that position, but we'll deal with it for now. Our starting defensive tackle, an 87 overall, normal development, 26 years old. I'm going to try to butcher that first name. Vondry Slaughter, I guess. 90 strength, 90 block shed, 73 power move, 63 finesse. Not bad, and he's pretty young. Leonard Williams must be up there in age. He is. He's a 94 overall, star development, 30 years old, though. Not that bad. Uh, let's check out his contract, though. I imagine they just re-signed him. Oh, no. Just one year left. Do we put him on the trade block, too? Uh, we'll have to think about that. Maybe we just keep him and deal with it for now, then try to sign him in the offseason, see what he wants for money and all that. Our starting second cornerback is Tavon Young, who is 30 years old, 82 overall, normal development. Might have to put him on the trade block as well, but we'll, we'll, we'll think about that. Our starting strong safety, Jamal Adams, obviously. He's 29 years old and 97 overall, quick development. He's probably going to be here to stay. We might keep him. We might keep Williams for now. Our starting free safety is May, who is an 83 overall, normal development, 31 years old. A lot of these guys are up there in age. Uh, what do you have for a contract? One year left as well. Do we blow it up and just try to get a good draft? Maybe. Uh, maybe we'll wait till maybe like week six, week seven, put a few of these guys in the trade block, see if someone, like, treat it like the, the Major League Baseball trade deadline where we just get rid of a bunch of people last second. Our star, no, we're on offense. Our starting right outside linebacker is Murray. Obviously don't know much about him. He's an 81 overall, quick development, 26 years old. I imagine it says it's his fourth year, so he's going to want a big contract. He has 93 tackles, 79 hit power, 76 speed, 89 acceleration. Pretty good, though. Our starting middle linebacker one is Pearson. He's 22 years old, quick development, 82 overall. Okay, he's going to be here to stay the rest of the way. 83 speed, 89 tackle, 87 block shed, 77 hit power. Pretty good. Our starting middle linebacker two is Eric Kendrick. He is 32 years old, quick development, 78 overall. Let's check out his contract real quick. And then we're going to check out our other linebacker. 
one year left. I might put him on the trade block as well. We might just blow this up for this one year, then hopefully we can rebuild for the final two years. Let's go back to our defense. And then our final, our left outside linebacker is Jenkins, who's an 81 overall, star development, 30 years old. Might as well check his contract, because if we're going to blow this up, might as well do it. He has four years. Okay, he's going to be here the rest of the way. So I'm going to put a few players on the trade block. We'll see what we can get. I'll see you in one second. I also forgot to mention our cornerback three, which is going to make this a lot easier. Jaleel Forty is 24 years old, a rookie, superstar development, 81 overall. Check out his ratings real quick. 95 speed, 82 man, 76 zone, 73 play rec. We can definitely get rid of King now. So we got some trade-offs from May. We didn't get anything for King quite yet. And we are in the 2024 season. I know I just said 2023, but I guess that was the offseason. Really doesn't make sense whatsoever. But we can get a third and a fifth this year from the Vikings, which looks really good. A second, fifth, and a seventh from the Panthers next year, which maybe we could, we should consider that. And then a fourth and a sixth from Green Bay. Not really worried about that. I feel like we should take the Panthers off for it because it wouldn't be, it would be after next season and we have one left. Mm, that'd be a lot of developing we'd have to do. So I guess we'll take the Vikings off for a third and a fifth from the Vikings. So we're here in week eight. We are two and four. This is when the trade deadline is. That technically puts us in second place, but the Bills are two and five. The Dolphins are one and five. So what I'm going to do is go to the trade block, and then I'm going to try to trade a few of these older players away, and I'll show you what I do. So I just traded Leonard Williams in a fifth round draft pick we just got from the Vikings to the Buccaneers for Howie as a cornerback. I'll show you what he looks like. He's an 81 overall, quick development, 27 years old. They just want to get a little bit younger. Check out his ratings real quick. 89 speed, 86 man, 82 zone, 80 play rec. I think he's going to be a great player. We're going to try to trade away Young and King right now. So we traded away King and Treadwell to the Broncos for Cleveland. He is a strong safety. I'm hoping we can move him over to free safety, but let's see what he's all about. So I moved him over to free safety. He's an 81 overall, normal development, 26 years old. He has 88 speed, 82 zone coverage, 85 tackle, 85 pursuit. So you're going to judge me so much down in the comments below, but Adams is going to be a free agent. Young's going to be a free agent. So I'm trading both of them away and a seventh round pick for a first round pick this year from the Buffalo Bills. And the reason I did that is because we have a backup strong safety who is a 74 overall quick development. He is a rookie. So I think he'll step in. He won't obviously be as good. He's not going to have as high of an overall by the end of this. But I, I just wanted to get something for Jamal Adams. So these are all the guys we have to re-sign. So Howery, the guy we just traded for, we have $120 million in cap room. So we're definitely bringing most of these guys back. Let's give him 3-5 and put this up to 1.5. Make the offer. Are you coming back? This is the perfect offer? Yes. Okay. Brian, I definitely want to bring back. I know he's 28 years old, but it's not the end of the world. Let's give him 6 a year, then 2.1. Let's see if that does it. Yes. Okay. He's going to come back. Gordon, I definitely want to bring back. Sanchez, uh, eh, Sanchez is not too worried about. Sam Darnold, ooh, that is tough. Gilbert, that's also tough. There's a lot of a lot of tough decisions right now. All right, let's start with Gore. Is Gordon our starting running back, actually? I think he was, right? He might actually not be. Probably should know my team a little bit better. Let's find out. Uh, okay, he is. Yeah, then we're definitely, definitely bringing him back. Sam Darnold, not too sure of. I actually kind of want to trade him, not going to lie. Uh, let's give him five a year, and then we'll put this up to 2.6. Make the offer. Is that going to be good enough? Okay, good. He's going to resign. Darnold, I need to see what he does, because in 82 overall, this is what, year six? So he should be so much better than an 82 overall. Gilbert, uh, oh, I have to wait till week nine. All right. I'm going to go to the playoffs. Let's see. Actually, let's scout some players first. So as of right now, we have the 6th and the 11th overall pick in the first round. And I love this quarterback right here, Hudson Beach. He has A-plus throw power, B-plus short and medium accuracy. So we didn't make the playoffs, not that I was expecting to. We went 3-12-1. All right, let's check out the stats real quick. The Bills went 7-9. and nine. Really? Just because we traded them Adams? Uh, Darnold, 4,100 yards. That's not that bad. 22 touchdowns, 10 interceptions. You might have earned yourself a new contract. Maybe. Gorn had 900 yards, 9 touchdowns, almost 1,000 yards, I suppose. Not that great. Receiving gallery, 1,000 yards, 8 touchdowns. Anderson, 800 yards, 4 touchdowns. Weaver with 700 yards, 2 touchdowns. Ramsey, 700 yards, 2 touchdowns. Gorn, 400 yards, 5 touchdowns. Defense, defense, defense. What do we have for sack totals? We don't have Williams here anymore, so let's find out. 7.5 for Slaughter, defensive tackle. 5.5 for Jenkins. 5 for Pearson. 4.5 for Brian. 4 for Murray. Four for Sperry, or Sperry? Uh, three for Kendricks, one for Ford, one for Cleveland, one for Beacon. What do we have for interceptions? Howie, I hope's up here. Jaleel Ford, two interceptions. Pearson with one, Kendricks with one. Caldwell with one, Bridges with one. No, Howie, okay. Uh, what do we have for safety counts? Nothing. Touchdowns, nothing. 
Let's see if we have any awards. Let's see if any of our rookie of the year, because obviously we're not going to get MVP. Tard Gurley still getting MVPs, all right. Uh, do we have any Jets guys here? No. Coach of the year, we're obviously not going to be there. Uh, AFC. Uh, any Jets? Any Jets? Bell's up there. Where did that say? Baker Mayfield of the Broncos. That might have been in last episode, and I just forgot. Russell Wilson of the Bills. All right. Uh, defensive play of the year. Do we have any Jets? We do not. Who won it, though? It is, of course, Clowney still on the Texans. Offensive rookie of the year. No. Oh, no. We got... Who is Cons? I didn't even see who that was. We're going to have to look into that. Defensive rookie of the year. Ford's number two. That's a shame. Anybody else? Oh, we got Bridges. All right. Because he was our strong safety that replaced Jamal Adams. Uh, what do we get for XP-wise before we find out who won the Super Bowl? Actually, we have to look for where Fours is, too. I don't remember seeing his name whatsoever. Fours, 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 Fours. There's nobody on offense named Fours. Unless it's just slipping. I, I don't see one. Oh, no, it was Cons. So he's our number four guy? Really? Sure. Uh, we have one XP point for our right tackle. One XP point for our running back. So that's not that great. On defense, ooh, a ton. Bridges has one. Jenkins with one. Pearson with two. Murray with one. Cleveland with one. Ford with eight. Wow. He's going to easily get up to 90. Brian with one. Slaughter with one. Basically, everybody went, but Kendrick's got one. Wow. Okay, let's find out who won the Super Bowl. Baker Mayfield and the Broncos beat the Rams 37-31. Let's check out the player stats. Goff had four touchdowns, no interception. Mayfield, almost 400 yards, five touchdowns with an interception. Rushing, Gurley, 92 yards. Freeman with 73 yards. Renew with 24 yards. Receiving, Evans, 10 catches, 100 yards with a touchdown. Solomon with a touchdown, 71 yards. Everett, 36 yards. Sutton, 84 yards. Okay. Brandon Cooks, 4 for 47. Cooper Cup, 4 for 17 with two touchdowns. Royce Freeman, 2 for 97 with a touchdown. Griggs, 2 for 26 with a touchdown. Wolf had a touchdown, and that's just about it. What are they, Who do they have on defense, rather? Am I going to notice any of these guys? I know Joyner. Uh, I know Barrett. Uh, Kevin King. Oh, wait. That was our guy. Did we train with the Broncos? Maybe we, oh, we did. We did. We did. Wow. Okay. Lucky you. All right. So let's go to the offseason, sign a few more guys. We have to make a decision on Sam Darnold. Oh, man, I skipped right over the re-sign period. I messed that up bad. We have $88 million in cap space. Let's go look at the quarterbacks just in case. Andrew Luck's there, obviously not getting him. Sam Darnold, I'm still not sold on, so I'm not. it's not really the end of the world. Uh, Josh Rosen's there. Derek Carr, he's kind of old. Teddy Bridgewater. A lot of old guys. I mean, Matt Ryan's there, 40 years old. Stafford, 37. Newton, 36. Who else is here? Josh Allen. Ooh, Maryland's there. That might not be a bad idea. Uh, no one I really want to get, but let's see what the top 100 looks like. Wow, a 99 overall fullback. I don't really need that. Khalil Max 34, so no Tomlinson, no. A lot of just older players. I mean, we could bring in Hughes with an 89 overall. No one's made him an offer yet, but eh, 28 years old? I don't know about that. Do we, do we depend on Bridges, or do we just sign Pollard? Does it say if he's like a quick development or anything? No, he's just normal. Huh. 26 years old and 88 overall. I feel like that would change our team quickly. The same with Hopkins. I feel like we got to give him a contract offer. Uh, four years should do the trick. Let's put this up to 3.5. I mean, no one's made him an offer yet, so it's going to be, yeah, 94 points, which is pretty good anyways. We could also bring in Evans, just like completely rebuild our receivers. 119 points, though. I don't know about that. Doug Baldwin's there. Keenan Allen. Uh, Samson. There's a lot of guys I could just bring in. We have so much money. Uh, where was that, sh that strong safety I wanted? Pollard. I'm definitely going to give Pollard an offer. I want to turn this team around as quickly as possible. So let's give him $4 million a year. I know we still don't have a quarterback, so we're going to have to worry about that in a few minutes. Uh, what is that? going to be 105 points. That's good. Mike Hughes, he's 28 years old. I'm not really going to do that. Uh, Samson I could bring in. But we have Ford, who's going to be up to a 90. Howie's a, number th a good number three guy. Uh, I'm going to bring in Kenny Logan if we can. What do you have for ratings, actually? 97 speed, 91 acceleration, 84 catching. Okay. Definitely going to make him an offer. Let's give it up to seven. Uh, I said seven. There we go. And they'll put this up to three. Other than that, what else do we really need? We, we need a, a new defensive line, I suppose. Christian Kirk's there. He's not that bad. Boy, he's kind of up there in age. So we traded away Leonard Williams. We traded away a strong safety, a free safety. What do we have for left ends? Khalil Mack, obviously not getting Lawrence. No to it. No. A lot of just, ah, we could go with Gaddis. Uh, we could go with Armstead. He's 31, so I'm not going with him. But 27 years old, that wouldn't be a bad idea. I think we got to. What does he have for development? He's normal, 27 years old. Strength. Where's the strength? 
78, I guess that's not so great. Uh, do, 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 do. I guess, what is it going to take to pay him? Let's give, if he'll do 5 million a year, and then 1.5, I'll take it. So let's sim and see if we got our guy. So we got Logan Hopkins, Gaddis. Okay, we got all of them. That's great. So I'm going to scout some players, and I'll see you at the draft. So we have the second overall pick, and Beach got picked number one, which is so annoying. I needed a quarterback really bad. So what we're going to do is trade it away to the Vikings. We'll get their sixth round pick this year, another first round pick next year, and a fourth next year. So at the sixth overall pick, we are once again going to trade for next year. I just want to load up on picks for next year. So we're going to trade to the Bears, a number one, a two, and a three. The other options really weren't as good. We could get a number one, two, and seven, but I feel like the Bears is the best bet. With our first round pick, we're going to take middle linebacker Willis Landrum. Let's see what he's going to be. A 78 overall, but superstar development, 23 years old. That is a great, great pick. Let's look at his ratings. 86 speed, 81 tackle, 82 block shed, 77 hip power. With our second round pick, we are taking center Tyler Glanton. He has number one in the bench press. 75 overall, normal development, 22 years old. Not a great pick. 86 strength, 82 run block, 79 pass block. With our third round pick, we are taking left tackle Josh Trope. Let's see what he's going to be. 75 overall, normal development, 23 years old. Says it's a good pick. 89 strength, 77 run block, 81 pass block. With our other third round pick, we needed a quarterback for now. Alexander Mayer. Let's see what he's going to be. He's a 74 overall, not that great. Normal development, 89 throw power, G, 73 deep accuracy, 81 medium, and 82 short. Ugh. So we upgraded all our players. The only guy in offense that changed, we got Gordon from an 85 to an 86. Everyone stayed the same. On defense, though, that's where all the change happened. We got Jaleel Ford up to an 89 overall. Howard's an 82. Gathis, 80. Slaughter, 88. Brian, 89. Cleland's an 82. Murray's an 82. Pearson, or Pearson, or however you want to say it, 84. Landrum, 78. Jenkins, 78. And Pollard is an 89. So let's go to the midseason mark, see how we do. So at the midseason mark, we are 1-6. That doesn't surprise me all too much. Where does that put us in the division? Last place, the Patriots are 0-5-2, really. The Bills are 7-0. All right. Our defense and our offense doesn't look like it's doing that bad. Our rookie middle linebacker has three XP points, which is a great. Ford has two. What about on offense? What do we have? Stevenson has one. Nothing really else. Who can we re-sign? Of course, I'm not going to know many of the players. Let's find out, though. Stevenson, the left tackle, definitely want to bring you back. Quick development. Uh, we have not, our 80 million rather in cap space. Let's give him 7.5. Put this up to 3.25. Make the offer. Okay, he's going to resign. That's good. Cleland, I'm definitely bringing you back. I didn't trade for you to just let you walk away. Obviously, let's go to 1.15. Make the offer. We're going to have a ton of money to spend this offseason, which is great. Uh, quarterback, not worried about 78 overall. Who really cares? Gallery, not really quick development. I mean, would he be a bad number three guy? Probably not. So let's give him 3.5. And then just put up to 1.6. See if that does it. If not, not the end of the world. Glad we got the deal done. Another Cleveland. Okay, no. Jacoby Ramsey, no. Everyone else. Is that Jacoby Brissett? Where did I see that? Maybe I'm just seeing things. I'm definitely just seeing things. All right, let's go to the playoffs. Even though we're not going to make it. So we didn't make the playoffs, obviously. What was our record, though? We went 4-12. and 12. Okay, the Patriots, 4-10-2. What happened? The Bills, 15-1. and 1. Wow. Let's look at our offense. Our quarterback got one. Goring got one. Stevenson with one. Glanton with one. Odom with one. Russo with one. Let's find out the defense of our rookies. Landrum with nine, which is great. Ford has four. Pearson with one. Pollard with one. Howie with one. Gaddis with one. And Slaughter with one. Let's well, check out the stats. See how they did. Diossi threw for 34 and a yard, 17 touchdowns, seven interceptions. That's not that bad. Goren, 700 yards, three touchdowns. Cecil, 85 yards, two touchdowns. Receiving. Logan, almost 600 yards, three touchdowns. Hopkins, 750 yards, three touchdowns. Russo, 600 yards, four touchdowns. Gallery, almost 600 yards, four touchdowns. Gore, almost 400 yards, two touchdowns. Let's find out the defense. I really want to see how Landrum did. Uh, Landrum, he had six sacks. Nice. Uh, nine for Gaddis, eight for Jenkins, six and a half for Bryant, six and a half for Slaughter, six for Landrum, Murray with five, Pearson with one and a half, Caldwell with one, a bunch of guys with ones and halves interceptions we have two for Colbreth, one for lander one for caldwell one for pollard uh let's find out about safeties nothing defensive touchdowns nothing so let's find out the awards maybe 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 landrum got off our defensive rookie of the year russell wilson mvp that makes sense obviously nobody from the jets coach of the year we're not going to be there don't know why i'm even looking russell wilson offensive player of the year duh uh nobody why is why is blake bortles still there why is he even still in the league Edmonds, of course Defensive player of the year. This guy's going to haunt me until the end of Madden 19. Landrum top five for defensive player of the year. Okay, so he definitely won off our def defensive rookie of the year. There's Hudson Beach. That could have been our guy, offensive rookie of the year. 
Uh, we don't have anybody else. Will Slundrum, the defensive rookie of the year, which is great. Uh, we already looked at the XP, so let's find out who won the Super Bowl. The Bills beat the Bears in the Super Bowl 28-21. We did trade for the Bears' first-round pick. So that's going to be the end of the draft pick. Russell Wilson, 300 yards, two touchdowns. Below 274 yards, two touchdowns, interception. Uh, Jordan Howard, 14 rushes for 122 with a touchdown. Perrine, 57 yards, touchdown. Koontz, 25 yards with a touchdown. Receiving. Gardner, 75 yards. Koontz, 76 yards with a touchdown. Pope, 87 yards. Erickson, 70. Smith, 47. Campbell, 63 with two touchdowns. I tried trading for him last season, but they would not take any of the guys I wanted to get rid of. Miles, three catches, 51 yards with a touchdown. Dixon, 19. Bunch of other catches there. And who do they have on defense? Anyone? I oh, Roquan Smith, of course. Edmonds, of course. He's haunting me. Uh, Eddie Jackson, Jamal Adams. We traded him to this team. White. All right. Uh, Amos is still there. Poyer. Wow, there's so many good players on this team. So let's go to re-sign some of our players. I think we got most of them, I believe. Was there anyone I didn't get? I don't think so. Now that I think about it. Yeah, we could get the quarterback back, but I'm definitely, definitely drafting one this year. We have to, because next year is our final year. Yeah, no one else. So let's go to free agency, see what we can get. We have $47 million in cap space. Is there going to be a good quarterback here? It's possible. George McCordy we could bring in. He's a 95 overall. So many high overall guys. Eden is there, left end. I mean, we have Gaddis. That doesn't make sense. We could put him at right end, but once again, it doesn't really make much sense. Uh, Shaquille Griffin's there, 86 overall, but our, our quarterbacks are fine, 100% fine. Wait, where did our other guy go? Didn't we sign a cornerback? I thought we did. Why isn't he there anymore? I feel like we should get George McCourty and then move him over. Do we actually, do we draft George McCourty in an earlier? Oh, man, I wish I had it up and I could look at it right now, but I can't, unfortunately. Uh, do we bring in Carpenter? We could have a number two guy. We have Howie as number three. I think we should try, especially with 47 million. Let's give him $5 million a year. That should do it. And then 2.15? Is that going to be enough? Yo, that's going to be way, 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 way over enough. Uh, Harmon, no. I don't think there's anybody else I'm dying to get. Let's check the quarterbacks just in case. Dak Prescott, no. Christian Fisher, we could bring in just in case. But what? I mean, what if we draft one? It doesn't really make that much sense. Are they going to tell me they're, he's normal development? What about Rich? He's normal development as well. Who has better throw power? It's 96, 80, 83, 82. That's pretty good. What does he have? 99. Okay. We're going to try to get Fisher. So we're going to offer him, I'm thinking maybe three years. Then we'll put this up to 11 million. Even though I plan on drafting a quarterback, but we're going to have to see how that goes. It puts us in the lead. So if we don't get the quarterback we want, we have a backup plan. So we got Carpenter. We got Fisher. So let's head to the draft. So we have the number one overall pick in the first round and the 20th and the 31st. And we are going to get our quarterback, Noah Rousseau, I guess is how you say his name. He has A-minus throw power, A-minus short accuracy, and B-plus medium accuracy. Let's see how he's going to be. Superstar development, 81 overall, 22 years old. That is great. 92 throw power, 85 deep accuracy, 88 medium, and 90 short. And then we're going to have to do something about Fisher now. With our second first round pick, we're going to take right guard Garrett Summers. Let's see how he's going to be. He's a 79 overall, quick development, 23 years old. That's great. 87 strength, 83 run block, 78 pass block. Good, 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 good. With our other first round pick, we took running back Devon Gates. He's an 81 overall, quick development, 22 years old. He has 77 break tackle, 93 speed, 92 acceleration. With our second round pick, we had taken center A.J. Jeffers. Let's see how he's going to be. He's a 75 overall, quick development. Okay, pass protector. 84 strength, 74 run block, 81 pass block. Not bad. With a third round pick, we had taken tight end Marion Walker. Let's see how he's going to be. A 76 overall, normal development, 22 years old. He has 78 speed, 80 catching, 67 run block. Yikes, 70 awareness. With a fourth round pick, we had taken strong safety Rashard Cribs. Looks like he has a good combine. He's a 75 overall normal development. He's 24 years old, though. I should have looked at that. 91 speed, 74 zone, 76 tackle, 78 pursuit. With our fifth round pick, we are taking cornerback Paul Eason. Let's see how he's going to be. He's a 70 overall. Yikes. Normal development, 23 years old. So I upgraded all my players. We got Fisher to an 82. We're going to try to trade him, though, and start Rousseau. We have Gordon's an 87, Hopkins 86, Logan 85. Two great receivers. Walker's a 76. Our offensive line, nothing to talk about other than Stevenson. 85 overall. He does have negative two confidence, but we should do pretty good in this final season. Our defense is up to a 91 overall. It is looking so solid. Gaddis is an 81, Slaughter 89, Brian 86, Jaleel Ford, all the way up to a 93. 
Howry is an 81, Carpenter 86, Cleveland is an 82, Murray 82, Pearson 85. Our second year man, Landrum, is an 88 overall, Jenkins 75, and then Pollard is a 90 overall. So let's try to trade away Fisher. So we added him to the trade block, but nobody wanted him. So we are just going to cut him away. He has normal development, our rookie as superstar. It's the only thing that makes sense. Goodbye. At the midseason mark, we are 4-3. and three. That's pretty good. He has two skill points already. Where does that put us in the division? Oh, tied for second place. All right, that's not bad. We still have a chance. Uh, I'm going to use some of these points. I'll show you what I did. So the only upgrading I did, we got a quarterback up to an 83 overall, which is good. We upgraded Landrum to an 89, Pearson to an 86, Brian to an 87, and then Ford to a 94. So we're going to have to try to re-sign some of these guys now. Uh, Slaughter definitely bringing back a lot of these guys we're going to bring back. We have 53 million in cap space. I just don't want to mess this team up for the future for whoever the, whenever the computer takes over. I'm happy to sign. Okay, that's good. Bucker, not worried about. Pearson, we... Uh, how old is he? He Oh, he's 24. Okay. Easily, easily, easily bringing him back. We'll give him 5-5 five, five, and we'll put this up to 2 million. That should do the trick, I would imagine. Okay, he's going to sign with a team. That's good. Stevenson, not worried about. Caldwell, not worried about. Colbreth, no... Nobody else I'm worried about. Wow, we didn't make the playoffs. What was our record? We went 8-8. Eight and eight. That's a shame. Let's check out the stats. Rousseau threw for 4,200 yards, 34 touchdowns, 12 interceptions. That's a great rookie season. He probably won rookie of the year. Gorin, almost 800 yards, 8 touchdowns. Gates, 300 yards with a touchdown. Receiving, Logan, almost 1,000 yards, 10 touchdowns. Hopkins, over 1,000 yards, 8 touchdowns. Gallery, almost 1,000 yards for him as well. 7 touchdowns. Walker with 5 touchdowns, 600 yards. Gates with three touchdowns. Gordon with a touchdown. I'll uh, check out our defense. What do we have here? Nine and a half sacks for Jenkins. Six and a half for Brian. Six and a half for Gaddis. Six for Murray. Five for Slaughter. Four for Pearson. Two for Lowry. Uh, interceptions. Three for Jaleel Ford, of course. Two for Howie. Two for Pollard. Two for Cleveland. One for Pearson. One for Carpenter. Do we have any safeties or defensive touchdowns? No and no. Ezekiel Elliott won the MVP. Riley, number two, don't know that is Beach. Oh, he could have been ours. That's such a shame. Uh, any Jets? Oh, we have Rousseau up there, so he definitely won that. Coach of the year, no. AFC, we are number five. That's not that bad. Defensive player of the year, do we have any Jets? Oh, Landrum's number 10. That's not bad. Offensive rookie of the year, of course. Gates, number two. Walker, number four. This team is so set for the future. Wow. All right, let's go sign some players. In the Super Bowl, the Rams demolished the Pittsburgh Steelers 49 to 7. Wow. Jared Goff, 200 yards, two touchdowns. Prescott is the quarterback for the Steelers, 200 yards with a touchdown. Rushing. Let's just see this. Gurley, 137 yards with a touchdown. Renew, 46 yards, two touchdowns. Sellers with two touchdowns. Okay. Uh, Devin Wolf, 547 with a touchdown. Lindley, 558. Rowe, 4 for 59. Juju Smith Schuster, 4 for 51. Brewer 4 for 40. Kirk 3 for 24. Christian Kirk on the Rams. Uh, Allen Robinson on the Steelers 3 for 25. Harris 2 for 19. Uh, Sneed 2 for 23 with a touchdown. All right. Do we have anybody else that I wanted to resign? I don't think so. I think we got everybody. I mean, we could get Bucker back, but I'm not really worried about it. Uh, and Stevenson, no. Caldwell, no. Yeah, I'm not really worried about anybody. We have 35 million in cap space. Do we need a strong safety? No. Defensive tackle, we don't need. Right outside linebacker, we don't need. A lot of these positions, we're good to go. Uh, cornerback, no. I mean, we could get a third cornerback, but it's not really necessary. Norton, no. Even 87 overall. I think our quarterback should be good for this team for the future. Uh, I guess win? 127 points? I'll put all my money into this guy. I'd be very surprised if next year if the Jets don't win the Super Bowl. We're going to be the Texans next episode, but I imagine... The Jets, they're so stacked. Let's see if that's enough. It should be. It's not. Okay, surprising. This is really, I mean, what else do we need? Offensive line help, I suppose. That's probably what held us down. Let's give him 15 million a year. Let's not do that because that's just crazy. Uh, let's give him 12. And we'll put this up to, what about four? Four, four is fair, I think. That should be enough. Yeah, 128. He might not even sign here. So we definitely need offensive line help, not left tackle help. Uh, that doesn't help us there. 80 overall for 79 points. I mean, might as well. 79 points. Really not that much. Uh, let's go to... We'll give him 10 million a year. And we'll put this to 2.1. That, that's probably going to put us way over. 125 points. Woo! Uh, 78 overall. No. 
And then uh, it's not really, I'm not really concerned about this. All right, let's advance the week, see if we got our guys, and then head to the draft. We didn't get win, but we did get Anderson. All right, let's head to the draft. With our first round pick, we had taken left tackle, who we're going to move over to right tackle, Jamal Coleman. He's an 80 overall, which is great. Normal development, 22 years old, 94 strength, 86 run block, 74 pass block. With our second round pick, we had taken left outside linebacker Malou Tourette. He's a 75 overall, normal development. Ooh, it says we reached 81 tackle, 83 hit power, 79 speed. With our third round pick, we had taken left outside linebacker Lamarcus Phelps. He's a 78 overall, star development, 21 years old. Okay, that makes up for the last pick. 80 tackle, 79 hit power, 78 speed. With our fourth round pick, we had taken receiver DJ Grant. He's a 74 overall, quick development, red zone threat. What are those ratings? 87 speed, 84 acceleration, 82 catching. So I did one final upgrade. We got Rousseau up to an 88 overall. Goren's an 83. Gates is a 73. Logan, 85. Hopkins, 83. Walker, 76. Coleman's an 80. Summers, an 80. Anderson's an 82. Odom's a 74. The weakest part of the offensive line. Stevenson's an 86. So check out the defense. Gaddis, 80. Slaughter, 88. Brian, 83. Jaleel, 4, 96. Howie went down to a 77. Carpenter, 86. Cleveland, 82. Murray, 81. Landrum, 91. Pearson, 86. Our rookie, Phelps. Probably going to be rookie of the year, defensive rookie of the year at least. Uh, 78 overall. And then Pollard is a 91 overall. But that is going to be it for this video. Next episode of this series, we will be the Houston Texans. I imagine their team's pretty good, but we shall see. So if you like the video, give it a like down below. Make sure to check out my channel. Subscribe for more daily Madden 19 content. Hit that bell to be notified when all my videos go live. And I'll see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.